Hello everyone, I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivey of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. And this afternoon I want to give everybody an update on the tragic loss of our deputy, Austin Walsh. Yesterday morning our agency announced that we had lost Austin, a 23-year-old deputy who was killed in a tragic accident. Austin had been with our agency since he was 18, having served as a public safety officer until he attended law enforcement academy, and then as a deputy sheriff in our west and south precincts. Prior to being employed with our agency, Austin served and volunteered as a member of our Explorer program for several years as he loved the field of law enforcement and had always dreamed of becoming a deputy sheriff. Man, Austin was such a great kid and our hearts are broken over his loss. He will be deeply missed by our agency, our community, and our prayers are with his family. Unfortunately for us though, that's not where this tragedy ends as Austin was fatally killed in an accidental shooting by his roommate, Deputy Andrew Lawson. Folks, this is one of the toughest days of my career, as this afternoon I have to stand here and talk about the loss of one of my deputies, who I love so much as the result of the reckless actions of another one of our deputies, who I also love, and who has been a good kid his entire life. In fact, this may be one of the toughest things I've ever had to do, but this afternoon I want to give everyone an update on what took place, and also a recent development as a result of the incident and investigation. The incident occurred in Palm Bay, and the investigation was fully and independently conducted by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement and the Palm Bay Police Department. What we know at this point is that during the early morning hours on Saturday, the Palm Bay Police Department received a 911 call from off-duty deputy Andrew Lawson, who reported that he had accidentally shot his roommate and needed help. When officers from Palm Bay PD arrived, they were met by off-duty deputy Andrew Lawson, who was fully distraught and devastated. Officers discovered off-duty deputy Austin Walsh inside the residence, where he had apparently succumbed immediately as a result of a single gunshot wound. Lawson was fully cooperative in the investigation that revealed he and Austin had taken a break from playing an online game with a number of their friends and were just kind of standing around talking. Lawson was holding a handgun, which he believed he had unloaded, and at one point in their conversation, Lawson, thinking that the gun was unloaded, jokingly pointed the gun in Austin's direction and pulled the trigger. According to the investigation, a single round was fired that struck Austin, taking his life. Andrew immediately called 911 to summon help for Austin, but unfortunately, the single round was a fatal shot. Folks, I want to be clear that while this was an extremely dumb and totally avoidable accident, it was malicious or with intent. Austin and Andrew were the best of friends, and Andrew is completely devastated over what happened. Even with that, there is no excuse for this tragic and totally avoidable death. And as a result, earlier today, Andrew Lawson was taken into custody on a no bond warrant by agents from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement for manslaughter with a firearm. As per the instructions of the warrant, Andrew was transported to Brevard County Jail and the case will progress from there. Folks, this unnecessary and totally avoidable incident not only took the life of an amazing young man and deputy, but it has also forever changed the life of another good young man who made an extremely poor and reckless decision. I personally know both of these kids, and they were the best of friends who loved serving in our profession. Austin was passionate about his job and loved his community so proudly served. And Andrew, he's a great kid who sadly made a horrible and irresponsible decision that has forever impacted the lives of so many. This tragedy has broken our hearts, and knowing Austin and Andrew as I do, I think they would at the very least want there to be a lesson somewhere in this message, somewhere that helps save someone's life, a message that makes someone else not make the same mistake, a message that helps someone else avoid similar tragedy, and above all else, a message that somehow, somewhere saves a life. If there is nothing else, I pray there is a lesson learned from this tragedy. God bless, and thank you for the overwhelming show of support and prayers for our agency during this most difficult of times.